Hey, this is Adria, and this will be part of an upcoming workshop where I will be showing you how to sign up for Google Apps for domain email and uh, go ahead and park multiple domains on top of a single install. Now, Microsoft Exchange does this, but the great thing about Google Apps is it makes this sort of powerful email management available for everyone. What I have is my primary domain name, which accepts email, but I've also been able to connect several other domain names. So this means if someone emails me at adria.richards, I also can accept the email adria.richards at Fresh Workshops, at But Your Girl, Ask Adria, and adrarichards.com. This means I don't have to have several different Google Apps accounts uh, set up since uh, you know I run a small shop. So let's see how it was done. Basically, when you go to add a domain name alias, it will go ahead and ask you, well, what is the domain you want to add? So you'll get a screen like this, username at, and you go ahead and put in your domain. After you do that, it'll ask you to verify your domain name. Now here you have two choices. You can um, enter in a C name, which you do at the domain registrar. What's a domain registrar? That's the company that's in charge of your domain name. That could be GoDaddy, and it should be, but it also could be Network Solutions, or um, just like there's so many companies, right? There's hundreds but hopefully you're with GoDaddy. The other thing is you can actually upload an HTML file. So it will say create this file and then you know, verify that it's been put there. I prefer to go into uh, the domain name registrar because you're gonna be adding mail records, known as MX records anyway. So let's choose that and say verify and continue. And let me show you what a CNAME looks like. So I'm switching back over to GoDaddy and here under C names, I have pasted in you know that uh, C name they wanted, and it's pointing to Google. Um, we'll cover that in the workshop how to do that. So here we'll click verify. Now we're at the meat and potatoes part, where it's going to say, "Please enter in these um, mail records uh, on your registrar." Now here you're going to see there are a ton. We got GoDaddy, we got CPanel, we got DNS Park. Uh, we got Web Hosting Manager, we got iPower Web, you know, we got One and One, I'm sure up here, which is not a good company. Um, you know, there's a ton. We got Yahoo, we got just everything under the sun, right? And the cool thing is, then they provide instructions. Basically, we want to take these records and put them over into GoDaddy. So I've already done that. So basically, what I've been doing is copying this part, and this is our host name, this is the priority value, and then the time to live is one week. So if we scroll over here, you'll see I have the priority, the host name, the uh, MX, the mail server. And in this case, I really like it because Google has several mail servers. A lot of companies will just give you like two. So more mail servers means um, higher reliability. It's very good stuff. So anyway, so then I set that up. I, you know, I click, you know, activate and sure enough, then I have it uh, as an additional alternate domain name. So that's all it takes. And until next time, enjoy technology.